Well, I'm giving this a try several hours later. I initially started to make a vlog in response to Brother Son 86. And he had shared a poem he wrote called Why War Why. He's an excellent poet. And it reminded me of something I'd written on May 1st, 2005, and it's called Why War. No why. I, I, I just called it Why War. I don't know why I'm smiling. I'm being weird. Um, I wanted to share what I wrote, and then I have some comments to make about it, because I have uh, numerous viewpoints regarding war and conflict. So I'm going to read this, and then I'm probably going to ramble. I'll try to be to the point, but I have a bad habit of just uh, rambling. But if you listen long enough, I come back to my point. Like that, circles. See, this is weird. I've made one of these in a while, and I forgot that I can't look at you and the screen at the same time. Anyway, I don't have this memorized. It's not on a piece of paper, so I am going to be reading the screen, which is annoying. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Can't tell, but my hair is sweaty. There, okay. I put on deodorant just to make this video, which does not make sense. But I want to smell good for you guys. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a bit weird. It's the first thing I've made in a while. I should edit it all out. Anyway, this is what I had to write about war, May 1st, 2005. Why war? Why didn't we stop when we won the world war the second time? Why didn't we learn from the hell of what others went through and decide to hold fast to the veterans' cry, never again? If only the ghosts of battles past would visit world leaders and business collaborators in their beds and show them the past in all its terrible disaster, how decisions and call-to-arms proclamations are affecting the present, which in turn carries forward the nightmare into a devastating future where no one wins and everyone loses on this war path, this path of war connected to other wars. I still believe in heroism and acts of bravery and the strength and power of people who unite in their cause to save a bit of something, but what are we fighting for if we're destroying ourselves? The weapons you take with you are the ones you leave behind, and so as long as you take them with you, there will be someone to take them from you. It's a cycle of destruction that must stop. Think of the consequences. War is not a conquest in this time. It is a strategic business transaction with your body used as exchangeable currency. Another piece of paper for the fire. No noble war was won by those whose main directive was occupation. Never again. Can you hear them? It is the voice of those before you who did not make it home and the anguish of those who have.